did my children know I was going to therapy and how did they feel about it? So when I started therapy, my eldest child was nine. We were a blended family, so we had five children, um, nine and under, right down to like newborn baby. Yes, and it wasn't a big deal. So the reason I think that me going to therapy wasn't a big deal, like it was just a part of our normal, is because of the fact that we raised our children to know that when you had a boo-boo, you went to the doctor, and when you had feelings that you needed help with, you went to the doctor, and that they were exactly the same. My children, because we were a blended family, and because you know they had me as a mother, <laughs> you know, ended up in, in therapy at different points and times as well. And actually after my ex and I got divorced, there were a few times where we took the kids to therapy and he, even, he and I even went into therapy to make sure that we were meeting the needs of our kids and, and negotiating things appropriately and all that sort of thing. So therapy was a very normalized growing up experience for my children and I think the plus of that is them being adults and knowing, hey, if things are going too sideways for me, it's a good idea for me to reach out for help rather than suffer in silence. The emotional part of what I was going through, like the part where I wanted to unalive myself, where I needed to go on medications, when I was really struggling to regulate my emotions because I would have a memory like in the middle of a day, a sound, something might trigger it off, and I would have to leave the room and, and cope with that. And sometimes I come back puffy eyed because I was crying. That part of it, um, I know was something that they saw. And so we would just talk about it, like in very age appropriate ways. You know, mommy's sad. There are things that I'm remembering from when I was a little girl that, that hurt me now, but mommy is also okay. And the reason that I would make sure to let them know where it was coming from was to ensure that they never thought or felt that it had something to do with them or that they could even fix it. I wanted to make sure that those things were very separated out. And I think all of the communication that we did, the proof is in the pudding. As adults, my children talk to me about anything and everything. And that even includes the things that I didn't do so well, you know? They, they don't worry about me not being a safe space because they were raised in a really safe space with a lot of open communications. So if you're out there right now and you're hiding these things and think you're protecting your children from stuff, you're not, you know, it, it, it's not beneficial. It's better to be open in very careful and age appropriate ways. And the careful comes in when you make sure that you don't allow your children to take responsibility for your emotions. So, you know, just being very aware of the words that you're using and also asking them questions when they ask you a question to ensure that you're only responding and giving the information they're looking for instead of the information you think they might be looking for.